Hello everybody, I am here with that drop biscuit recipe that I promised that I would um, show everyone. They're really, really, really easy. So let's get started. Um, I put a cup of all-purpose flour and that's for five biscuits. Um, depending on how big you make them, but I, I want mine like fairly good size. Um, double this if you want 10. So it's a cup of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, um, a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda. Now first I preheated my oven to 450. Now of course you're going to put it on the middle rack. So I'm going to just, you know, stir that around with a whisk and just combine everything. Now this recipe is buttermilk. So I don't buy buttermilk. You know, because I don't use it. I, well, I buy it if around the holidays because I know I'm going to use most of it. But just on a regular basis, I don't get buttermilk. So the easy way to make your own buttermilk, let me cut this, um, I was cooking my bacon. Okay, let me unplug it. Um, I need a half a cup of buttermilk. So what I use is a half a cup of milk, and I use the um, the low fat milk. So it's a half a cup of milk, and I use the half uh, a tablespoon of white vinegar or lemon juice. So and I stirred it up. Here's my half a cup of milk and therefore you got your buttermilk so I always keep some white vinegar for different things that I use in my recipes and even in cleaning and that's for another day but I can even clean so let me let me show you what I'm going to do I'm going to pour as I whisk into four tablespoons of melted butter. Let me see, okay. I had to test it, make sure it wasn't hot. It cooled off and I'm going to, let me get on this side so I won't be in front of the camera so much, my hands. So I'm going to slowly pour. And if it curdles, that's, you know, that's okay. That's okay. It's gonna do that. It's going to curdle. That combination of um, vinegar, white vinegar, and milk is gonna curdle, and that's what you want. So it's now to incorporate everything. And I'm going to make a a little well and, and pour this in and I'm going to stir it and you don't want it too soupy you don't want it too stiff okay now you can put it on a non-stick. Let me put a little more on this one. This one is kind of small. You're going to put it on a non-stick pan and um, baking sheet, rather. And spread them so they won't, you know, stick together. Not that, you know, it doesn't have to be that far apart. 
And then we're gonna cook the, um, bake these at 450 at about 10 to 12 minutes. Now, you just wanna make them uh, until you want to bake them until they're uh, brown like in different spots they're not going to brown all over because of the shape they're going to brown unevenly and that's the way it is I put some foil down because my baking sheet has seen its better days and so to make sure that my biscuits don't stick at the bottom I put a little foil and you can do the same um, you can even put parchment paper, but I didn't have any more. So I'll be back to show you how they look. Okay, so there you go. I'm just going to try to just eat one. You see how it's brown in different spots, you know. So it's done. So you can put your butter over it. Um, brush it with butter on the top if you want. Uh, I'm going to have my... Hungry Jack bottle of syrup and maple syrup and I have watermelon and that looks like blueberries but no those are actually black grapes and you know a couple of slices of bacon uh, and over my watermelon come on come on I sprinkle some tahini there you go there you go so, this is our breakfast made with homemade drop biscuits and they are delicious guys. So, have a great rest of your week and be safe everybody. And um, I'll see you next time with another recipe or a movie clip. You know how I am. You never know what you're going to get. And that's a good thing. We all have different layers. So anyway, thank you guys and see you next time.